How often should you clean a valance, which is this little curtain here above a window, or maybe a pillow that's sitting on the end of a sofa, or maybe it's the chair, the seat of the chair in your dining room. Maybe it's even a lampshade that's made of fabric. How often should you clean those? I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, the answer to that question is that on a maintenance or a deep clean, we don't clean any of those things. On a lamp, we do take our Swiffer duster and we dust the outside of the lamp and the inside of the lamp and the light bulb. We do that on a maintenance clean, but we do not do the fabric shades because we don't wanna smear dust into the fabric. So four times a year, we do what's called a deep clean. And on the deep clean, we're gonna take a vacuum. This is a handheld vacuum that has a soft bristled brush attached. And any soft bristled brush attachment will work. Lots of vacuums come with one. There's also a fabric one that's used and designed for upholstery. So depending on the type of vacuum you have, any of these will work. So what we're gonna do on a deep clean, and this is four times a year, we're going to vacuum the lampshades and the chairs and the pillows and the valances, okay? Because we can remove 95% of the dust just by vacuuming alone. Here's how it works. The valance is made of fabric, and so it acts as an air filter. So when dust settles or when the air conditioning kicks on, it just gets trapped inside the fabric. So we can take our vacuum and holding one hand on one side because we want to support the fabric, we can come down and we can vacuum out the dust, which works out really pretty good. Now, there's a special project that we offer, and we offer this once per year. This is where we're gonna do the other 5%. And we're gonna actually remove it with a mixture. This is considered a dry cleaning, low moisture method, where we're gonna take a gallon of water and a fourth of a cup of rubbing alcohol. And we're gonna mix them together in our gallon jug of water. And then we're going to use a mitt. This is just a microfiber mitt. And I'm gonna slide it on over my glove because my hand is gonna go in here. And I don't wanna get um, rubbing alcohol on my hands, right? So I'm gonna wear my rubber gloves. We're gonna use a uh, microfiber mitt, and then we're gonna go ahead and just wipe over the top of each of the pillows and the fabric curtains. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna lift the rest of the dust into the mitt. But what's really exciting about this process is it's gonna keep all of the pillows and the base of the chairs, the place where you sit, the valances on the curtains, and the lampshades, it's going to keep them clean for about another year. This prevents you from having to take all of these to the dry cleaner, which costs a lot of money. For one of these shades, also called a drop, it would cost about $80 US dollars just to have this piece here cleaned. And each of these pillows would cost between $30 and $40 to clean just for the pillow itself, because it has all these fun little beads and stuff on it, and it makes it a high maintenance pillow, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna vacuum all of these different pieces of fabric, and then we're going to use the wet method. And that, my friends, is how you low moisture clean valances and pillows and chairs and lampshades. And now you can do that as an upsell or you can do it in the privacy of your own home, saving lots of money in the process. Again, this process needs to be done once per year as the low moisture method. We're gonna do it with the deep cleaning method, which is the vacuuming, getting out 95% of the dust, we're gonna do that four times per year, and then we're gonna dust the remaining pieces of the furniture and the sides of the lampshades every week or bi-weekly when we do our regular maintenance clean. All right, that, my friends, is how you do it. And if you are interested in cleaning vertical blinds, I've got another video right here that will show you how to do that. All right, until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.